Six pack, a deer that'll haunt you in your sleep if you let him. I have watched him grow year after year through sun, snow, and rain. I've tried many tactics to outsmart him. And for the first time last season, I was finally able to lay my eyes on him. And although he hadn't spotted me, he felt danger in the air and was gone. Why is that? Big Louie will wreck your life. At least that's what I've been told. I'm back in the woods this season with only one thing on my mind, six pack. Still hunting's a lot like the game of cat and mouse, okay? The object of the game is for us to spot them before they see us, and then it's game over. But first we gotta spot them. I just started to sneak up on a doe, and the doe was after. I had no idea I was there, but there was a mouse behind her that I didn't see, aka another doe. And she spotted me first blue, and they hightailed it out of here. So, what I want to do next time is make sure that that doesn't happen. But maybe I can find something with some antlers. That would be even better. underneath us when this is a big bedding area. We've got a creek bottom and that's exactly what happened. Not even about, I would say 30 minutes being down here. We've seen two big shooters, very nice deer. This one that we just saw, literally took my breath away. This is the biggest buck I've seen so far this year, 2021. And he's super wide and he was on a doe. You could tell he was like going back and forth like a dog on a trail, on a blood trail. He was on a doe going back and forth, left and right. And as he was going up the trail, I tried to grunt on him, but he wasn't, he wasn't looking at me. The best part about this though down here is they were headed north. And the only way to get around anywhere is come right back down south. And I'm hoping tonight before it gets too dark, they're gonna make it, uh oh, come right at me. Those were some big, big bugs. That was a big deer that just came through here. I'm excited. What's up guys, welcome back to Barstool Outdoors. I'm excited because today is Thanksgiving and that means it's my lucky day because last year on Thanksgiving, I got a drop time buck for the very first time. It was exciting, it's exhilarating. And today we have a cold front coming in. So I'm ditching my family and I'm gonna go head out into the tree stand. And my fingers are crossed because this is where six pack keeps coming in. And I think today will be my lucky day. It's like 20 degrees, we got wind, everything's in our favor. I got my Rocky boots. Of course, I'm gonna slip into these bad boys, keep my feet warm because I get a little frigid here in Illinois. So, today might be the day. I'm excited, stay tuned. It's mid run here in Illinois, central Illinois. We have about 15 mile an hour winds today with the trees swaying back and forth. This is where we've been seeing six pack walk back and forth. They've been chasing does left and right, and I'm pretty confident about tonight. My fingers are crossed. A buck has stepped into the field, and with my heart beating out of my chest, it is six pack. He turns into the standing corn, looking for a hot dough. Carelessly, he steps into the field once again. As I was about to draw my bow, I glanced to my left and had eyes staring in my direction. 
I didn't want to get spotted by the doe, so I had no choice but to stay still. The rut has drove him doe crazy as he runs in and out of the standing corn. He's coming back. Yet again, Six Pack is back, and he is headed directly for me. on him, Sydney. Go on up the hill. I want to lose him. Keep your eyes on him. I just shot six back. I just shot him. I just shot the biggest buck of my life. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I was shaking so hard. I was threw up. My dad and I did this together. All this hard work. All this time. All these years watching him. We didn't know if he made it through the winter. Nine years old. Nine years old. This buck was nine years old. The smartest buck you could ever hunt. He's so mature and he's so smart and he's just so so precious. Like, but he made the one mistake of chasing a doe at 35 yards on Thanksgiving. I'm so I'm so happy, man. There he is, Sydney Wells. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh, he's stiff. Yeah, he's stiff. Oh, holy crap! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's nine years old. You would think that he'd start to decline a little bit, but last year he was 12 points. This year he's 16. He's got some splits on his G3s right here. He's beautiful. I mean, honestly, like this deer, it doesn't even matter the size at this point. He's just so special because he's so old. And last year, I'll never forget, I had him at like 10 yards and I had the worst time because I didn't get a shot at him. It was devastating and like my heart sank to my butt. And it, it sucked because you just never know when you're gonna have an encounter with a big mature deer like this. I'm a little sad because six pack is gone but he's been spreading his genetics all over the farm for all these years. And who knows, maybe next year, one of his boys will step out. I just shot six back. 